Hi guys, Dane here, and today is going to be a short and sweet video. This is the uh, how do you read a book tag. I was tagged by Graeme Sillers, and it was created by Hungry Bookworm. Uh, both of their channels are linked below. And uh, yeah, there are only four questions, so I'm going to answer the questions and then tag some people at the end. So, question one. How do you go into reading a book? Usually fairly blind. Um, I, I mean, it depends because quite often I pick up books because I'm trying to read all of the books by a certain author. So like Agatha Christie, for example, I don't need to know what it's about before I go into it. I just know that I'm going to enjoy it because it's an Agatha Christie book. Um, sometimes I do research, but very rarely. Question number two, do you take a book at its face value? Yes, I like to think so. I also try and like separate the author from the work as well, um, especially because like, you know, if you're reading a Stephen King book and there's a bad guy in it, they're probably going to use, you know, racist or homophobic slurs. And that doesn't mean that King himself is a homophobe, which I think would be reading too deeply into the book. Um, I think he's just representing a side of humanity, you know. Um, so yeah, I generally try to take books at face value when I can. And uh, the same goes when like books are like super hyped by the community and stuff. I don't really think I treat it any differently. Question number three, do you read a book as the author intended? I mean, I don't think anybody can answer this because you you don't know what the author intends. I mean, granted sometimes, I don't know, like maybe George Orwell or something, you kind of know what he's, he wants you to think, I guess. But even then, I think a good book, they don't tell you this is what you think. They just ask questions of you as the reader and then you as the reader draw your own conclusions and that's not necessarily going to be the same conclusion that the author has, you know? Question number four, as a book lover, reader, reviewer, do you read a book differently knowing you're going to review it? Also, do you venture into other genres for a review? Um, I mean, my reviews are m very much the other way around. Uh, they actually stem from when I was at secondary school. We had an English teacher who said you had to write a review for every book that you read. So for most kids, it just meant that they stopped reading books because they didn't want to have to write reviews. And yeah, I just reviewed every book. So I was turning in like five or six reviews a week and eventually said I could stop. <laughs> but um, yeah, I review everything that I read. So my reviews are really just like a running log of what I read and what I thought of them as opposed to anything else. Um, having said that, um, when I tab books out for review to talk about them on BookTube or whatever, I think I do read it slightly differently because I'm kind of specifically looking out for things that I can remark upon, you know. Um, yeah, it just does, it feels differently as well. And I can't, you know, there's a point in the book at which probably, you know, about 10, 15% in, I kind of decide, I then kind of commit. So I might have already started tabbing it out and I decide, okay, am I going to tab the rest of it out and do the full review or is there just not enough here? Or the other way around, sometimes I haven't been tabbing it and that's about the cut-off point where I'm like, okay, I can start tabbing it out for review because I haven't missed too much, you know? So there we have it. As I said, this tag was short and sweet. I'm going to tag a few people. So I'm going to tag Cats and Camera, The Return Cart, A Musical Bookworm, One Book, One Review. I don't know if she still does tags. Jason's Weird Reads and Charlie Heathcote. So there we have it. That is my super speedy take on the how do you read the book tag. As always, don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on, uh, you know, you can always answer these questions uh, or your thoughts on my answers. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.